I've come to Mottisfont House and Garden in Hampshire, where this beautiful house was built on the remains of a 13th century priory. But for me, the real jewel in the crown here lies just beyond the gate of the old walled garden. In the early 1970s, this former kitchen garden was transformed by one of the most influential gardeners of the late 20th century, plantsman and rose aficionado, Graham Stuart Thomas. It was created as a home for his private collection of old-fashioned roses. It's been described as one of the world's most beautiful rose gardens. Even Thomas himself called it his masterpiece. And I have to say, standing here, it's impossible to disagree. It's time to see if these little guys will win over the people of Cornwall. For one day, and one day only, I'm taking over this Cornish tea house and turning it into the Rodos return. Helping me set up is owner Joan Pollard, who's been serving afternoon tea here for 18 years. Are you a fan of Rhododendrons? Yes, I am. I've got quite a few. And what kind of Rhododendrons? Big ones and <laughs> small ones. Excellent, like that. excellent. So a multiple Rhododendron yes, collection. Yes, multiple. Who wants a miserable spider plant when you can have year-round structure, you've got, you've got colour at the end of it, and you've got scent on some of the indoor ones Definitely, as well. Definitely, yes. I didn't realise, actually, how much scent there was on all these different rhododendrons. Out of all of the ones we've got here, which one's your favourite? I've got more than one. I like okay. that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> now, let's see what the afternoon tea lovers of Truro think. Are you a rhododendron fan? Well, I must confess, I'm not all that knowledgeable. Sheltered position, acid soil, even moisture, you're fine. You got a garden? I've got a balcony. Can I grow a rhododendron you, on a balcony? You absolutely could go on it, yeah. You killed her to me. We need to track down Excellent, some excellent. Some Recently, there's been some press about uh, certain rhododendrons not being uh, particularly good. There are hundreds of rhododendron varieties, right? and there is one that's yeah. invasive. If you don't like rhododendrons, frankly, you don't like life. <laughs> they, they, it's, just, it's, just so, it's like saying you don't like dessert. You've got a deal, you're going to plant a rhododendron? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Another well, one sold. We're going to the garden centre now on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to the rhododendron return. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Now, I'm really pleased with that response. The thing is, with rhododendrons, there are so many hundreds of varieties. I guarantee there is one for you, no matter your site, no matter your style. <laughs>